Hello friends. In this video, we will see how to define a company and set up charts of account for a company. As soon as you log in first time in ERP Next, it will ask you to create one company. And for that, just provide a basic information. For example, the company name, abbreviation, what does it do? bank account I have given ICICI bank you can give any other bank name and define the financial start financial year start date and end date and if it's asked give a domain area I have selected manufacturing you can select any other also once the company has been created basically what it does it creates a standard tables at the back end in which you can enter a transaction detail and other details for this company once the company has been created let's go ahead and start entering the setup data that's called master data and later on a transaction data before that let's get familiar with the en environment of ERP next this blue e color symbol on the left and top corner is the home page so you can click on that this gives all available modules in this software. If you know the location of a module or a sub module, you can navigate from here. If the location is not known to you, you can use uh, this search box which is available here. So let's see, we have defined a company I want to check what has been defined as a company so i just put company and erp next will give you all the related field about the all the related modules and sub modules of company so let me select company list in which i should find the company what i have defined you can click on it and you can add it if you want the information what you have defined here and then you can have to say that save that once the company has been created our next task is to do a tax setup for this company since this video i am making with a reference to indian tax system <clears throat> where currently the gst is applicable so i will use the gst so since i don't know where this setup has to be done so let me search chart of account so it says open chart of account alternatively you can go from accounting module and then you can reach there right now i'll use the search box open chart of account this chart of account is a summary of balance sheet and profit and loss account so application of fund and source of fund which is part of the balance sheet and income and expense which is part of the profit and loss account we want to check whether the GST setup has been done in this company or not so click on source of fund go to current liability go to duties and taxes in that you should find CGST or SGST sorry CGST and SGST you see wherever you see the folder on the left hand side of the text it says it's a collection of the accounts and wherever you find dot this is the particular account click on CGST you'll, on the right hand side you'll get the options to work upon this account so either you can delete or it's view ledger or edit right now we'll try to edit this account so click on edit we want to check here the rate which is to be applied on an item transaction in my case here I have made it to zero when you set up first time, most probably it will be a 9%. What it says, if you have not defined any tax for a particular item, then 9% tax will be applicable. <clears throat> In our uh, example, we will make it 0 because we are going to define item tax separately. So if whatever number you see here in this field, please make it to 0 and then save. 
once you get the data has been saved you get a message here like saved now go back to the account check for the SGST edit remember we have to make this again at zero percentage click on save once it's saved you will get a message on the right hand bottom corner so now our charts of account setup has been done for the sales transaction but the GST will come into picture when you buy a certain item as well so that we have to locate into application of funds so click on the application of funds go to current assets go to tax assets you don't see any item below it so here we have to create two account one for incoming CGST and second for incoming SGST so please create this so for that we have to add a child item when you click on add a child item it will ask you a new name so let's say it's incoming CGST account number right now we'll keep it blank account type since this is a text account we have to keep select a text account from the available option you can review the other uh, names but in this case we are going to select text text rate again we are going to keep it blank and the currency let's keep it INR click on create new with that it will create a incoming CGST as an account under tax asset follow the similar procedure and create one more tax account for incoming SGST remember to select a tax here and INR select that so incoming CGST tax and INR click on create new so now we have an incoming CGST incoming SGST in the assets and similarly we have a CGST and SGST which is basically outgoing tax in the duties and taxes with this our charts of account setup has been done in the next video we will proceed with customer data entry thank you very much